Hello YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to CryptoPix. Today I'm going to be doing my PTMG analysis on 10x. This coin has really affected a lot of people in a negative way and they're wondering if they should sell and reinvest elsewhere or basically what they should do with this coin. Well today we're going to check them out and see if they are worth keeping or if you should sell at a loss. Remember to click that like and subscribe button right here. Well, let's get started. The PTMG analysis on 10x. So what is PTMG? It's the problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, short slash long-term goals, and then I'm gonna wrap it up with a summary. So the problem that 10X is trying to solve is fairly basic and straightforward. They want to basically allow for any user to spend their cryptocurrency wherever and whenever they desire while adhering to the highest security standards. So what is 10X project idea? They want to give us the opportunity to spend our cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, pretty similar to how we use our bank card. Once a user downloads the 10X app, a multi-currency wallet is created. Through the Comet network, users store their own private key. Your funds stay in its original cryptocurrency until the time of transaction where they will be converted into fiat in real time. So what about the potential for generating revenue? The users can make money in a variety of ways. First, they receive 0.5% of the entire payment volume on the 10x payment platform on a monthly basis and 10x plans on distributing that reward in shorter periods of time in the future with a target of hourly reward distribution and this will be paid in ether next users will receive 0.1 percent from each transaction they make from the 10x card in the form of pay token the chart to the side of me shows how the transaction process works and how you get rewards and the chart above me shows how they calculate the monthly rewards so now for the team this 10x team is huge it's one of if not the biggest team i've seen so far so i'm really going to just cover the stars or superstars that they have first i don't want to forget julian i didn't mark him as a star or a superstar based off his experience none of it was amazing except for he was a medical doctor which doesn't really help too much here but this guy's pretty awesome he does all their youtube videos and he's very fun to watch <laughs> our first superstar though is bettina she is the CHO and head of customer service. She worked for Swarovski in product management and marketing for four years. Hopefully I said that right. And as I said, this is the rest of their team. And they finally had another superstar, Joel. He is the customer service manager and he worked for Microsoft for seven years as program operation specialist, channel operation specialist, and partner operation manager. So definitely a superstar with seven years of experience at Microsoft. And I mean, as I said, this team is huge, but a lot of their experience comes from small companies. So majority didn't get a star or a superstar from me, as you can see. I was actually surprised to see so little stars with such a big team. Uh, I didn't do any huge research from 10X before. I kind of just assumed they had a really, really good team. This kind of disappointed me, but it is still good to see they had two superstars. So now for 10X advisors, this one, I just decided to use what they have as investors. I decided that these people could count as advisors also. So let's begin with the obvious superstar Vitalik. He's the f one of the founders of Ethereum and probably the most popular person in cryptocurrency. Next we have Bo Shenz. He's one of the best superstar advisors I have seen. He was supposedly the advisors for Bitcoin, Ripple, BitShares, Ethereum, Factum, and then a few others. And then I couldn't find any information on David Lee. His name was just way too common and they didn't have any links to his LinkedIn. So their advisors are definitely superstars and that's a great thing to see since they didn't have too many superstars on their team. So now for 10X marketing, this is probably one of their most positive aspects of the analysis. First is their Twitter, super active with daily tweets, announcements, and updates. Let's go to their Twitter page. As you can see, they definitely up update regularly October 31st 29th 27th 27th they definitely tweet daily which is a great thing to see next we have their YouTube which is also super active one of if not the most active YouTube channel I've ever seen by a team their telegram they do not have a telegram Facebook is super active with announcements and updates similar to Twitter their medium is also super active with dev updates and announcements and more as you can see above me they talk about the 10x chat 
which is pretty much their own type of telegram they also have a reddit and bitcoin talk community which is super active on both next we have their marketing but competition i have two charts here from their website showing the comparison with token card monaco wirex and apo then another chart on the top left that shows their comment network and how it beats the competition. So what about the other competition? Is Metal and OMG competition for 10X? I would love to hear your thoughts behind that. Also, what other competition do you know of that 10X has in this space? So what about 10X's market cap? Right now we're sitting at 162 million market cap, currently around $1.55 or 23,000 sats. The all-time high was around $6 or 160,000 sats on August 12th. Hopefully, we'll reach this again in the near future. They have 104 million circulating supply, 205 million total supply. The volume in the last 24 hours is $3.3 million. was $140 million on August 12th. That volume is ridiculous and will hopefully jump back to that point in the future. Their exchanges, they're on many exchanges. Pretty much everyone my favorite exchange that they're on is bitrix so now the short slash long-term goals so we'll start with 2017 q4 we got decentralized secure smart contracts ready for public and open for developers and then they got the initial version of comment live 2018 q1 we got the comprehensive security testing and audits on the comment network then q2 we got comment fully integrated bitcoin ethereum and more coins then Q3, we have the open platform for developers on the Comet network. Then Q4, we have the onboarding of other blockchain assets such as ETFs, derivatives, and other investment products. Then 2019, we got the 10X card issuing license and the full revenue and control on 10X card. Then 2020, they got the 10X blockchain banking license. They want to issue fiat tokens fully backed and insured by a government and then a Trojan horse to bring everybody on the blockchain ecosystem from traditional banking systems. So this is a pretty extensive roadmap all the way to 2020 with super ambitious goals for 2020. So to summarize 10X, this was one of the biggest and most exciting coins in August, but since then has really crashed, but which altcoin hasn't, right? So the question everyone has is, will 10X push back up? After, re after researching more about their company, I believe they have a fairly good team and a clear plan that will allow them to succeed. Plus, they have some amazing advisors, and once they start paying dividends, that could really help push up the price. One super positive thing about 10X is their community involvement. They have to be one of the most open and transparent companies I've seen on the blockchain, with Julian being very active on YouTube so with that being said, I do have a fairly large portion of 10X and have, and have definitely been stressing out about this coin. <laughs> but I do believe that this coin can shoot back up once alt stop dropping, hopefully after the fork in November. I think 2018 also will be the time that the promising and companies that are actually not trying to scam us will really shine and I'm hoping 10X will be one of those. So again, remember to research and invest wisely. I want to thank you all for watching my video on 10X. I hope you enjoyed it and found this video helpful. Remember to click that like and subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.